Welcome to the Crazy Hat Chemist. So another video here in gases. Bam! So today we are talking about Boyle's Law. Okay, Boyle's Law is the pressure of a fixed amount of gas at constant temperature is inversely proportional to the volume of that gas. So I want you to take a look at that graph and look at the numbers on the y and x axis. You got volume on the y axis. On the x axis, you got pressure. Okay, the volume is in milliliters, the pressure is in atmospheres. Okay, so you have this um, relationship. Volume is proportional to the inverse of pressure. So this little symbol that looks like an infinity symbol with part of it chopped off on the right hand side, that means proportional to. Okay, so taking a look at this graph here, if we just look at one of these points here, at 60 milliliters, you get one atmosphere pressure. And you notice that at two, um, uh, two atmospheres, there's 30 milliliters. So as you increase the pressure, then the volume goes down. Hopefully that makes sense. That's an inverse relationship. Okay, so this is the general or the combined gas law. And the review of all the gas laws was this was one of the most important equations. We didn't actually write down Boyle's law on there whatsoever. But I want you to look at this uh, general or combined gas law and now put your fingers over the, con the temperature portion. So I want you to actually delete the temperature out of this equation because what's happening with Boyle's Law is you have a constant temperature. So if you have a constant temperature, then you can see the equation that you're going to get for Boyle's Law. And here is the equation for Boyle's Law. So we remove the temperature portions and now we have Boyle's Law. So I'm hoping that you see the relationship between the general combined gas law and Boyle's law, knowing the most important key component for Boyle's law, and that key component is that there is a constant temperature. Okay, that way you can derive the equation for Boyle's law. If it's constant temperature, you can put the temperature values in there if you wanted to. Just recall that the temperature must be in Kelvin. Okay, so we're still not done with Boyle's law. Okay, here's a little bit of Boyle's Law trivia, if you will. He was a British scientist. Boyle was the first to carry out experiments in which one variable was systematically changed in order to determine the effect of another variable. Very important key concept that we use every day in real science. Breathing is an application of Boyle's Law. <sighs> Okay, and scuba divers get the, quote, bends, and that is actually an application of Boyle's Law as well. He wrote a book, and the book that he wrote was The Skeptical Chemist. No, I didn't uh, spell that incorrectly. That was in 1661. He got a lot of negative feedback from other scientists after having written that book. So that was a problem for him. Okay, so what I want you to do is I have this uh, piece of wood that I've made in my classroom and you are going to make a prediction, okay? So V is standing for volume, T is standing for temperature, and P is standing for pressure. And there's holes that I've drilled out on this piece of wood right here above each of the um, variables. That's volume, temperature, and pressure. And it needs to be in this order of volume, temperature, and pressure. At least the temperature needs to be centrally located. Okay, if the temperature is being held constant, then you're going to rotate at this point. So imagine if you were to stick um, a pin um, or a, a bar right through uh, that T in where the hole is, right where this dot is. So you're going to rotate at this point. So that means if the pressure goes up, then the volume goes down. Do you see that rotation right there? The pressure will go up, the volume will go down. Alternatively, you could have the other situation occur, and that, that is the pressure will go down and the volume will go up. Now, again, we're rotating at the T. That's where you put um, like a pin in there, and then you rotate this piece of wood at that point. And see, now we're going to rotate it. So you should see that Boyle's Law is an, uh, uh, in relationship where the volume goes up and the pressure goes down. It's an inverse relationship. If the volume goes up, the pressure goes down. If the volume goes down, the pressure goes up. Okay, an inverse relationship. All right. So that was an introduction to Boyle's Law. 
and we are going to do a problem with Boyle's Law. So you're going to look at this next problem dealing with the free diver, and that is an application of Boyle's Law. Give me a thumbs up if you like that video. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'm going to see you next time for more cool Boyle's Law problems and even more cool chemistry problems. Bye now.